It's not unusual for any organization to let their demands get ahead of their resources. We were getting approximately a million spam messages a month. We were filtering a considerable quantity of that, but even a small percentage of that quantity results in disruption on campus. When I first got my SE4 account, I didn't use it a whole lot because I was getting a lot of stuff that I didn't really need or care for. The email inboxes were littered with spam, pornographic, pharmaceutical, phishing attacks, viruses, pretty bad stuff. It was not a good feeling knowing that, you know, the same stuff that I'm getting, the end users are also getting. My first thought was, I can't believe that they let this through. I would have five spam emails compared to one email that I actually needed, and it was very frustrating. Obviously, we were getting too much spam. We needed to change that. The previous solution didn't filter any emails with embedded images. It was poor in any kind of zero-day attacks, new attacks, phishing scams. We'd be on the horn with the support team. It would always be, okay, well, you know, we're working on it. Give us a week or two. We need a solution right now. Approximately 20% of our traffic was spam. My requirement was that we cut that to 2%. We did a lot of different interviews and demos, collaboration with local colleges. Our import seemed to be the technology that everyone was going with. What's nice about the Cisco appliance and its filtering techniques is they have the ability to update that code very quickly. When we went looking for a solution, it was typical for us to look to Cisco and the CDW. We were comfortable reaching out to CWG because we had worked successfully with them on other technology products and they were always willing to make themselves available. Whenever I would email them or give them a call, they were very quick to come back with a proposed solution. Hands down, CDW provides the best networking services that are available. They helped us with the design and the planning. They also helped answer our questions as we were installing the appliance too. Between us, Cisco, and CDW, we had the thing up and running in three weeks. When you take it out of the box and you plug a monitor into it, it takes you through a wizard. It asks you basic questions and very quickly you can get it up and going. The Iron Port had a lot of attractive features such as the email encryption and the DLP. We've turned it on. We've never had to do anything in the background. All the updates are downloaded directly to the appliance. I was impressed that something like that actually worked. Before the Cisco appliance, I would get multiple calls, maybe eight or nine per day to block spam content, whereas today I may get one or two per week. It allows the teachers and the administration here to focus on educating and serving the students rather than going through their email inboxes and dealing with virus and malware problems on their computer. Now that we have less email traffic on our network, it frees up that bandwidth for other uses. We we spent uh, approximately a quarter of an FTE dealing with spam. Now we're something along 0.05% of an FTE, so a significant gain in staff time. We're seeing an uptick in the use of email by our students. It's been a win-win all the way through.